Okay, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, I want to read the new covenant in which we're not in yet. Okay, you have Vocab Malone, he's uh saying that we are already in the new covenant, which doesn't even make sense. If we're in a new covenant, then where is Yahweh Shai? Or where is this guy or who you call Jesus Christ? Where is he at? Because he's supposed to be amongst us. All right. So that's just clear cut that he we're not in a new covenant. All right. This is Hebrews chapter eight and five. It says, who served unto the example and shadow of heavenly things as Moses was admonished of Yahweh when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, say he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he that is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises for if that first covenant had been faultless then should no place have been sought for the second all right so showing you that the first covenant which should keep in the laws is not faultless all right because there will be no place for the second now verse 8 for finding fault with them he say Behold, the days come, say of the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Now, he said a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, which is really going into the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. All right. Yasha Allah, the prince, he prince power. OK, starting with the men of the Lord down to the families of the tribes. Okay, so it says new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So the Lord did not make a new covenant with any other nation. All right. And this is prophecy. It says not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. All right. So the first covenant was 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 given to the children of Israel. And even the second covenant is given to the children of Israel. All right. So that lets you know that, you know, just uh, just eliminating any other nation, they're not even given this covenant. So where does the other nations appear anyway? This is all about Israel. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. And I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. So you mean to tell me this is happening? This already happened? When and where? And with who? Because right now you see the Lord's people being taught the Lord's word again. All right. That would make the most high a liar if this covenant was already to happen. If we already living in it. It doesn't even make sense. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, and I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. Now, according to vocab and, and the rest of these Christianity uh, groups and their dogma doctrine, they say you don't have to keep the laws. But here it is. The Lord said in the new covenant, he will put his laws in our inward parts. That means that we'll do what? We would keep the law. All right. We wouldn't have to tell a brother, yo, you shouldn't eat pork. Hey, brother, you shouldn't commit adultery because he will already know what he will do. It says, and write them in their hearts and I will put and I will be with them 
Wait a minute, Slakia. And I will be to them a God, a power. And they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Now, you got two thirds of the Lord's people today. They don't know the Lord. They're believing in uh, the white, the white, uh, the white hope. All right. Which is uh, uh, Cesare Borgia. All right. Which is which will you call Jesus Christ? Anyway, it says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities. Will I remember no more? And that he say a new covenant. He have made the first old, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. All right, and we're not in a new covenant yet, man. Now I want to bring one more precept out. All right, this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 42. It says, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption and it raised in incorruption. All right, because we're going to receive those new bodies. It says it is sown in dishonor, right? W what it is now, the flesh. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. All right? We're going to be raised in power when we receive those new bodies. It says, as it is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. All right? This is Apostle Paul. He's giving you the mystery. It says... And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. All right. Howbeit, that was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And afterward, that which is spiritual. The first, the first man is of the earth, earthly, and the second man is of the Lord from heaven. As is the earthly, such are they also that are are earthly and as for the heavenly such are they also that are heavenly and as we have borne the image of the earthly we shall also bear the image of the heavenly and he's talking about the spiritual bodies because right now we're born of the earthly all right we're in sinful flesh but soon the lord's elect will soon also bear the image of the heavenly now this i say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither do of corruption inherit in corruption. So if the new covenant, if we was in a new covenant right now, why is all of these sins that are taking place in the earth? Why is there homosexuality? Why is there bestiality? Why is there incest? Why is there pedophiles? That don't even make sense that we're, to say that we're in a new covenant. That's just foolery, man. And anyone that can't see it, then you're just blinded. We're not in a new covenant yet. All right. We're going to be soon when Yahweh, when Yahweh shall return. So he says, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither do corruption inherit incorruption. You think the Lord will have the heavens on earth, his heaven, his kingdom, in which he spoke about and promised to us for us to be living like this. All right. Esau's ruling and, and wickedness. Uh, blood sacrifices, sexual rituals, all this crazy shit that's going on. All right, it wouldn't be. It would. This not. This would not be. Verse fifty-one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So, what is Apostle Paul t talking about? He's talking about we're gonna all be changed, man, and to our heavenly bodies, which is a the un the the incorruptible body. All right. The spiritual body, all right? The spirit entwined with the flesh so that the flesh doesn't war with the spirit anymore. And that we'll be made perfect through the new covenant. All right, verse 52. In a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So if we're in a new covenant, where, where's the change? Where's the changing of our bodies? For this corruptible must put on incorruption. Now notice he says must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. People still dying today. Okay? Shit, Edomites, they claim to be the they claim to be the Israelites, they're dying today. Nobody's has the change of body and the spirit yet. 
according to the bodies that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh speaks about. All right, that Apostle Paul is, is giving us this mystery. So where's the immortality at if we're in a new covenant? Verse 54, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Where's death swallowed up in victory? All right, when you got jokers still getting sacrificed out here. You got these rappers and, and um, movie actors sacrificing loved ones. All right. You got Esau, uh, you know, uh, what they call it. Uh, I can't think of the word, but they kidnap children and do all sorts of shit, man. Where is death swallowed up in victory? It says, O death, where is thou sting? O grave, where is thou victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. So this is why people are dying left and right. Because why? It's sin. The sting of death is sin. All right? And the strength of sin is the law. So we're going to keep the laws in the new covenant in our inward parts. We'll be made perfect never to go off again and break the law. You know, it's not complicated to understand this. It's just those who are non-believers, all right, or those who are blinded of the God of this world, which the God of this world is Satan. All right? It's not hard to understand. It says the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. So we're going to keep the law during the new covenant, but perfectly. All right. Not even making a mistake, an accident. It says, but thanks be Yahweh, thanks be to Yahweh, which give us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yahweh Shai ain't get back. He's not here yet, but his spirit is here dealing with the Lord's whole for elect and pushing his gospel. Remember, Paul said he shall destroy with the spirit of his mouth and then the brightness of his coming. So right now we're in the season of the Lord's spirit, okay, the spirit of his mouth. He said also in Matthew 24, this gospel shall go out through the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come. So this gospel, the spirit of the Lord got to go out. It says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And this is why you see the prophets of the Lord, the real prophets of the Lord, all right? And I gotta say, starting here at Great Millstone with our apostles and elders on down, giving you 100% truth, all right? Not wavering, not winnowing, but pushing his word in season and out of season. And you seeing tons of brothers and people, Israelites waking up through the four corners of this world, man. All right, because Paul says here, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, all right, until Yahweh Shai come, enduring all the way to the end. It says, always abounding in the work of the Lord. This is why you see brothers faithfully abounding in the work of the Lord. It may not be to everybody's tune, likings, or favorite, but the word is getting put out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for those who need it and, um, and who's the Lord drawing in to be that elect. It says, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So this labor that we do is not in vain, man. All right. So I just wanted to give my little two cent on that. You know, I was playing on in my head after watching a few videos and this character of vocab, the devil Malone, saying that, you know, we're already in the new covenant. That don't even make sense. That's making the most high a liar. And what Paul is speaking here is clearly prophecy. He's speaking of the kingdom. All right, which is to come through Yahweh Shai. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.